This is the Drag and Drop Podcast. Yeah, I think uh, this last week we got so many views. Didn't quite make our goal. I think our goal was maybe 100, and I think we got 58 views. So I wanted to thank all the fans for, you know, showing up and hitting that like button, subscribe. All right. We got a Gmail. It's it's the email of the new world. It's drag and drop podcast at gmail.com. Submit your links, submit your comments, your questions. It's in the DMs, man. This is our DMs. Uh hit us in the DMs, drag and drop podcast at gmail.com. Or uh DM us on uh Twitter X at uh drag and drop pod. We do have Twitter an X. X. We do have an X. And a TikTok. Uh, X sitter. <laughs> Also we don't have any content on TikTok, but we have been posting on Ooh. Twitter. Um, we found the furries. Didn't take too long. Um, the very furries, nice fur the costumes. Were they receptive? The furries They're are useful. Receptive. They're helpful people. Yeah, yeah, I commented on the furries, and I was commenting all day, trying to get a rise out of somebody. You know, nobody liked. Nobody commented until I commented on the furries, and both of them. I commented on two furries, and they both replied. So, interaction farming right I, I think we have to we have to target in more on the furries but not too much to where it's just screwing us yeah I, it can't I, hurt it can never hurt no it works man people have done it before like use the furries to your advantage like you know, i don't see them as people but i do it's see win, them as win. useful okay but you see them as animals that's right i haven't seen one in, in person in a long time it's because you don't go to conventions Oh, they used to just walk around downtown during like festivals and stuff. I've I seen them at the Meyer by my place. Well, put the first suit on at Meyer. The head, dude. How's a furry like, gonna eat a glizzy? A hot dog. <laughs> a glizzy hot dog. <laughs> yeah, how are them furries gonna be how eating gonna glizzies? Gobble uh, that Costco. They probably they probably take their their head off, man. How much do you think a fursuit costs? It's their head, dude. How much do you think one of those things costs? Like for a good, like, like medium like, high uh, end fursuit. Uh, if I was really budgeting, if I'm serious about it, honestly, probably eight nine hundred thousand or something more than that. Yeah, so, so about the cost of an ER trip, or uh, how much it would cost. Uh, uh, and you could have that <laughs> fursuit for the rest of your life. It's an investment in um, quality. Okay. Hand it down to your children. Who's making these fur suits, man? We could. All right. And Who's honestly, I think Mexico, we could get a factory spinning up fur suits, you know, sell them for five, six hundred dollars pop. Premium fur suit, dude. It's got a air conditioner in the fur suit. Comfort. While you're a furry. All right. Uh Bill, can you you tell us about what the uh, this was here this this post i just lagged out or something oh okay so here is one of our twitter posts so it was when the uh the eclipse happened and they're talking about the rapture and so i'm just out trolling you know i'm trolling any post there is and i just say it looks like an ai generated image of a solar system nice try and then people got mad this guy says the fuck are you even implying <laughs> uh yeah, so I, I was trolling him, telling him, it, it looks like shit. That's, it looks like a stupid picture, honestly. That picture sucks. You didn't see anybody on your street get raptured? I asked multiple people on Twitter, you know, how many dead? How many dead? <laughs> I think everyone that Show was going to get raptured Show me Bring the did. dead. Just like uh, that movie, uh, This is the End. Yeah, so our Twitter's popping off. That's all I can say. Okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, at drag and drop pod on twitter here we go this is this is our twitter check it out drag and drop three, podcast three followers yeah we got three followers we're following two people that's five people honestly total. the eclipse we this is the week we can talk about the eclipse you know we can't talk about it next week but this week we can we can mention the eclipse did you look at it so i was working i scheduled a meeting for that time but I went outside, I made these sunglasses, I took uh, aluminum foil and poked a tiny pinhole and then on each side and I lined them up on my eyeballs and you can look through. It was kind of shitty, but it worked. Um, you it didn't, didn't have get that Inuit glasses? I didn't have, have like any legit ones. Glasses. 
Dude, I, I was obviously working, you know, because the news and all that. But, like, as it was in the full totality in uh, Indiana or whatever, I went out and, like, just walked outside and, like, a bunch of our uh, engineers were out there. And one of them gave me an extra set of glasses and I looked at it for, like, 10 seconds. Pretty cool. Damn. Yeah, they're like the uh, movie 3D glasses. We had, like, 90, 96%-ish here. Yeah, I got Order. dark. Everyone was trying to get me to go out there and I was like, I'm just not interested in that. They're yeah. like... Well, you're gonna miss out. I'm like, on what? <laughs> like, <laughs> it's hey, it was. And cool. they come back in. They're just like, well, it yeah. wasn't as exciting as it, you know you think it is. And I'm like, I didn't think it was exciting. <laughs> I mean, I, I I think I mentioned this to you guys, but like I heard the coverage on NPR, like on the radio, on the way to work the next day. Mm. It is so funny listening to them just describe what's happening because everyone's just like, oh, oh, this is crazy. <laughs> it's just on the radio. You can't see anything, you know, so, dude. I wasn't thinking rapture, but when I got on Twitter to post, you know, because I'm trying to farm shit about the eclipse and I found the rapture people. I'm like, holy shit. And it kind of spooked me out a little bit when it got so like uh, when it got dark, I was like, oh, man, what if the rapture does come? Yeah, I mean, I opened a portal. So true. Classic. Uh, what is it like a soccer coach turning into a Super Saiyan clip here? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's cool. Trump. It's not some, uh, South American footballer. And I, and I did that really? because I saw another person's tweet with that getting attention. And I'm going to like, I'm just going to copy it. <laughs> no, dude, you got, you got to know, like, you can't just post, man. It has to be a reply. No one's yeah, going to see it. Only replies. But no when they go to our page, they're going to see how sweet our Twitter is. Yeah, 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 dude. You're, you're doing great. You're doing great. <laughs> right. Yeah, right. three followers. It's pretty good. Pretty good. So are we uh are we recording? Yeah. Is, are we going? Is the pot on? Yes, yes, sir. Okay. All right. Um, a guy at uh, work was uh, telling me to check out um, Powerade and Gatorade. What do you What do you guys like better? I can't um, even tell there's a difference. What do you mean, man? It's the same thing, is it not? I would I, drink neither. I haven't had a Gatorade in a long time, but they sell Powerade. If you drink a blue so Gatorade and a blue Powerade, it probably tastes pretty damn similar. I, mean, I think Powerade's a little bit waterier, maybe. Maybe a little bit powderier. And I think the Gatorade's um, nice and, like, syrupy almost. What? Uh, I mean, I, I watched this video on a, few, a couple of weeks ago, and the, the, the main difference, essentially, is the same as it always is. It's just, it's just Coke versus Pepsi. Yeah, it's not the same company. I believe Gatorade is Pepsi. What? Or, no, no, Gatorade. Gatorade's Coke. Same. Gatorade's Coke Whoa, and Powerade's Pepsi. I never Pepsi. even thought about that. I thought it was like, yeah, like a sugar, sugarless. No, Gatorade's Pepsi. Version. Yeah, Gatorade had a big advantage. Uh, they were like one of the f the first companies to use a uh, sports star as a uh, spokesperson. They had they had Michael ja uh, <laughs> Michael Jackson. They had Michael Jordan. Powerade is owned by Coke. And that's, I guarantee you, the reason why Gatorade is as popular as it is today is because of Michael Jordan. Oh, yeah. You want to be like Mike. They had a. Are you showing this vid? Yeah. Okay, good. That's a Powerade's vid. got them, though, because the containers are better to hold on to. Gatorade's kind of whack. I think Powerade tastes better. And, like, that's it. Dude, I probably got to do a taste test next time I'm out. What, what's, your, what's your favorite flavor, flavor, man? I like green and blue. You got Probably go blue and oh. red. Red, probably red, honestly, like over, a red Gatorade and, or a blue, you like the fruit punch. He's a fruit head. I like yeah, to like every uh, once in a while as a treat. You ever try like freezing them for a little bit so they get slushy? Dude, I've been oh, thinking yeah. about. All right, so I get plain Greek yogurt, but like in a quarter gallon or like you know like a big jug of plain Greek yogurt, and uh, I've been making this dessert, but I I've been thinking I got to put it in the freezer so that I got like soft serve greek yogurt it's like ice cream substitute almost you take that uh some blueberries uh some peanut butter a little bit of honey and a lot cinnamon. of work bill you just scoop that was the, a lot of ingredients just, but it's a it's a super healthy <laughs> Four des like dessert <laughs> berries peanut butter a bunch of protein what kind of protein are you just you eat powder yeah, yeah. yogurt the greek yeah the yogurt, yogurt. The, 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 they just put like protein powder in the yogurt no, just plain Greek yogurt. It's got a lot of protein in it. From what? Just the milk? Yeah, being milky. 
I've never really tried. I've, never, it, I've always had the regular yogurts, like the you know the you gotta ones try with the, the Greek. I like the ones like with the sour, dude. No, dude, the ones with the oh, fruit yeah. in the bottom. Like, right. Dan, Danon, Danimals. I try and look at the ingredients and get the least ingredients possible. So if there's natural flavors, if there's colors, no, just you, you go right to the source. You know, we're not slowing down our digestive tract with with all these preservatives, and we're shitting. You know. I was listening to YouTube this week, and this guy was saying that diarrhea is a symptom of constipation. What? Make it make sense. He said that it'll, like, try and flush you out, but there's shit locked in you, and, like, it tries to blow... It doesn't all get out. And so... (laughs) How can you be constipated and have diarrhea? It just, it's just a little, it's, I, it's, I've heard that babies shit a lot more. Like uh, Diarrhea percent. is a symptom of constipation is what he said. Like so body, body weight. Ba- babies shit like a, like a 10th of their body at a time or something when they're born. <laughs> no <laughs> way. You're never going to shit that much again. The first shit out of a baby actually is, it's, it's a specific thing. <laughs> um, it, it's, it's like one shit because it was like fed by like blood, right? It's just through the umbilical cord blood. And then, so the first shit the baby comes out, it hasn't had milk or anything. It's literally blood shit. Oh, that's got to scare yeah. a lot of new parents. Yeah, baby's first shit. Baby's first It's a thing. Shit. I'm not looking that up, man. <laughs> oh, it's, it's got a name. Meconium. Okay. Ooh, you saved that. Yeah. Meconium. Oh, oh no, it's a picture. Don't look it up on Wikipedia. There's a picture of it. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. No, thank you. All right. <laughs> Yeah, meconium. Uh, I think like your GI tract has a lot to do with your overall health. So if you're not pooping at least five times a day, something may. <laughs> yeah, I've been trying, man. Like it's, a couple hours after rough. every meal. What? What? It's supposed to pass through you. That's that's what that's no, what it's dude. supposed to do. That's yeah, not you're real. Like man. A few times a day. I don't and because you're up. within two it's hours. Ruling. Like you got to be like maybe three or four pure liquid diet. Let's see I, mean, I can make it happen, but it will not be good for my body. It's got to be like six to ten, man. We, there's no way it's two hours. Let's see. You're you're taking out the previous meal you had, not the one you just yeah, had. exactly. If you just think about it for a second, <laughs> you are shitting out the previous meal, Bill. Sometimes Taco Bell, it's weird. Like I know <laughs> that's a fact because you will, you know, you you poop out your last meal, right? And and so sometimes I eat Taco Bell, <laughs> dude. Li- literally within fifteen twenty minutes. I have to shit like like bad. Are you sure you're not like, just like why? Why does that happen? Her? Why is it pushing <laughs> pushing me to like li- di- like shit? Taco my Bell's pants? a diuretic. That's why. But Taco Bell's a diuretic. Damn, that's crazy. It's probably full of oils and shit. I mean, Bill, what is your taco what's the meat order? made out of? You know, it's probably like beans and whatever else. What's what? What's your Taco Bell order, Bill? Um, I'm, I'm a little salty with Taco Bell these days because dude, the it's cheesy gordita worth. crunch, dude, is like five fifty for the cheesy gordita crunch. And yeah. I got one for a recently. taco with the soft shell taco around it. Wow. Like, dude. And it was so disappointing. There was hardly any cheese in between the shell. Like I want that cheese pull on that shit. Like make me this, it's $5 50 cents. Make me a good one. They gave me a shitty one. That's worth like $2. And uh, so I've been salty about the cheesy gordita crunch, but I'll get a crunch wrap supreme these days, maybe you know instead. Uh, I like the cheesy gordita or the cheesy bean and rice. The one dollar burrito. Yeah, the cheesy bean. <laughs> it's such, it's one of the best values in fast food these days. It is if you can add like more beans, to, like black beans to it, or you can add some meat. It's still cheaper than any other burrito. Right. You Pretty just gotta go to like an authentic place, and you'll right. pay the same price, but just have the quality a lot better. Taco Bell's gotten so expensive. This is the correct build. If you use the app, every twenty dollars you spend, you get a free item. The most exp- <laughs> expensive free item you can get is the, is a uh, chalupa, which is a five dollar item. So if you spend that's the fried show, that is huh. that is a tw- that's a, that's like a twenty twenty five percent discount, right? If you're getting the chalupas every twenty bucks, damn, it's, it's gotta be. That's a little- not like value though. I mean, I get like a lot a of Taco Bell, man. Taco, you just gotta get the big burrito. That's where the Pounds Dude, are coming. From, I'll, right? I'll take like a the well, heavy meat. The um, I got Chalupa's only I like three hundred and eighty calories. It's not that bad. I think I ordered two burrito supremes with extra chicken, and it was like twenty bucks. Yeah, you can't order single items anymore, man. Like you have to get either the six dollar box or like the eight ten dollar box. 
Six dollar box is still a really good deal. Get a... Dude, I've been eating bison and rice. Bison. Yeah, man. Ground yeah, I got bison. That shit at Costco. How's that at? It, is it yeah, lean? it's good. Is it lean or was it like it's, 10 it's lean? 12? Yeah, all I did was you just put the bison in a pan. You got the veggies going, you know, peppers, onions, uh, a little celery, and uh, you bison it. And then you just put rice in. You bison and... it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you put rice in the bison. Okay. And uh, so you're just eating yeah, it's, rice, it's rice with ground bison, pretty much. with the... And peppers and onions, yeah. Kind of like and dude, I've been straight beef. Like some bison fried rice that all my well, you should fry the Ooh. rice, dude. Right, that, nah, right. dude, I just I just put it in with um like water or bouillon, you know, sloppy steaks, man. And then the rice just puffs up, and you got this nice like fluff. All right. All right uh, this past weekend, this past weekend was uh, a a four day event really for WrestleMania. At Friday night SmackDown, Saturday night WrestleMania, Sunday night WrestleMania, Monday night Raw, all in uh, Philadelphia this year. This year had easily the best WrestleMania of all time. Okay, you yeah, guys, the the uh, the Tribal Chief here was uh, defending his title for the last three and a half years. You see, he's he's not as big as he used to be. I know you guys. I don't know if you watch wrestling at all, but this guy used to be a lot bigger. But in real life, he's been fighting leukemia for the last few years. Damn. But uh, his, uh, it's uh, him versus, uh, it was him versus Cody Rhodes. It was Roman Reigns versus Cody Rhodes. Roman Reigns is the tribal chief. Cody Rhodes is the American Nightmare. American Nightmare is a play on his dad's name, which was the American Dream. It looks like the video game. Oh, dude, the video game. I think the video game peaked in 1998 with, like, the, the uh, N64. Uh, dude, I got that. WCW oh, games. One. Dang, yeah. that was a sweet yeah, dive. I got that shit. Yeah, these guys are twins. That's Jimmy and Jey Uso. Jey Uso is, like, kind of a good guy. Jay, uh, Jimmy Uso was a bad guy. So you see here, Cody Rhodes is doing his uh, his finisher. It's called the Crossroads. He did it three times back to back. The yeah. Crossroads. Yeah, a lot of his moves are uh, puns on his name. That's like, pretty sweet. He's got um, a... I can't exactly tell who's winning. Oh, is the, it the guy dude, on top? On. Yes. Okay, see, this guy comes out of nowhere, hits him in the thumb with a Samoan spike. This guy is actually those those two twins that speared each other. It's their younger brother. So the uh, all the Samoan guys, you know, are like the cousins of the Rock, right? Oh, okay. So what what happened here is like uh uh th th this match was like was the, the Sunday night main event. It's supposed to be like bloodline rules, which basically means they have any whatever rules they want, right? So this guy named Solo Sokoa is helping Roman Reigns pin Cody, but obviously it doesn't work out, right? And then and then uh you, you look you got oh, Damn, that cross yeah! height. That John, John Cena, Cena comes up. Cena. Holy shit! <laughs> it was sick. You better man. beat his ass. John Cena comes out. Power right? shirt. But this isn't it, man. This is not it. John Cena comes out because John Cena, uh, he, he not not a big fan of Roman Reigns, the Bloodline. Dude, John Cena's it's outfit is sick. John Cena's balding. You, you you notice he puts he pushes his hair over the back of his head maybe five times, but. <laughs> what happens here is after John Cena comes out, a, a little bit later, you see his him. Hair's he, too long. Oh, it's it's long because he's trying to cover his bald spot. And they they get this. The production value has increased so much. They got the shot. Look at that right there. WrestleMania Damn. in the background. John Cena's face. The Rock comes out. Is that the Rock? They call they call him the final boss now, right? Wait, John Cena just beat up his family. No, yeah, the John. Family? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, dude. Wrestling is great. Okay, John Cena beats up Rock's family. Rock comes out, right? That's not even it, man. The, the Rock, the Rock comes out to fight John Cena. You know it, what? But, but but then, but then, dude. Let's, where's, where's it at? Where's it at? The the best surprise of all, dude. The best surprise of all. You can't see me. And then the Rock hits him. Rock hits him with the rock bottom, but that's oh not it. God. That's not it. The Rock's gonna. The Rock is gonna hit Cody Rhodes with the belt. Do you hear the the bell? Oh you hear the bell? What is the bell? What do you mean, man? You know what the bell means. Come on, bro. You smell what the Rock's cooking? Is no, man. Cooking? It means the Undertaker's coming out. Oh my gosh. The Undertaker re re retired a few years ago. But the Undertaker appears. Holy 
Oh, shit. In the ring with The Rock. And The Rock is just, you know, performing here, you know. Can't tell he's behind him. Boom. Here's the, Un the Undertaker exists as a character in WWE to rein in the bad guys. When the bad guys get too bad, The Undertaker shows up. Hits, hits him with a choke slam. <laughs> this is sweet. It's so sweet, dude. And then, um... Here he's going. Okay, so it wasn't just that, but also uh, there's there's a whole like a ten year long storyline finish as well, where Seth Rollins, um, Seth Rollins brings a chair out, and instead of uh, attacking Cody, Roman, uh, he couldn't let go of the past, so he had to attack Seth with the chair. And because he attacked Seth with the chair, Cody is able to uh, deflect the Superman punch and turn into some more crossroads. Cody wins the fight, right? Cody's wife comes out. It's so good, so good. But uh, then he tells, like, on a, on a podcast after that, like, uh, uh, Triple H. You know, Triple H is the head of WWE now. The reason wrestling is good is because Vince McMahon got deleted. What is this, a wrestling pod? Holy sh... <laughs> Listen, dude, in the last couple of weeks, I got really into wrestling. And it's it's so good. It it hasn't been this good in 20 years. The last time The Rock was uh, pretty good. The crowd is... Fired yeah. up. Seventy seven thousand so there. Seventy seven. Didn't 000. someone say some shit to Cena or the Rack? Like what? He just like walked away or something. Uh the the, the Rock well, on Mon on Monday night the Rock um he uh, said he's going away for a while, but the next storyline is gonna be Cody versus the Rock. Dude, where's the Miz? Dude, the Miz is actually one of my favorite wrestlers and he uh, he was he won the uh, tag team uh, titles with uh our truth at this uh event on Saturday. Damn. And the Miz, it's all Miz, about Cactus Jack, man. Cactus Jack. Mick, Mick Foley retired a long time ago. Okay. <laughs> no, he needs to come back, though. Oh, but it's, it's so good. AI yeah. version. But uh, right now, right now is the best time, if you want to, to get into wrestling. You can watch it on Hulu. <laughs> all right. All right. Next topic. <laughs> yeah, dude. I overseeded my grass today because, uh, you know, it's just looking a little sparse in the front yard. The maple trees, there's three out front. You know, all the neighbors have got mulch around their trees and rocks, and and we got grass. And, you know, the grass doesn't want to grow with the trees, so I'm, I'm overseeding. I'm, I'm hoping for the best. You know, nice, luscious lawn for the neighbors to see. Dude, I haven't done shit to my lawn. That's a losing battle when it's around the tree like that. But Yeah, I tried I putting agree. mulch around my tree, and it, it, uh, the grass just grew through it. So. Dang, you got some crazy <laughs> grass. I didn't like cover it too much, but uh, yeah. So I found this. Um, I remember a few years ago. So we're me and me and Beelage are from a small town called Portland, Michigan, and um, it's the city of Two Rivers. So in the middle of this small town, uh, three stoplights. You know, McDonald's. It's got a Burger King, Taco Bell. We're blessed. It used to the be the Wendy's. A, it used to be well. a Taco Bell KFC. Is it still? No, they they put in a Taco Bell KFC and uh, that failed. And then years later, the actual Taco Bell company came in and put a Taco Bell in. And uh, actual Taco Bell, not it's a, it's not a franchise. It's a corporate. So owner. we're we're from a small town in Michigan, and uh, there were Indians that had settled where this village of Portland was eventually founded. Um. So somebody told me a few years ago that in the middle of town, right where the rivers meet, that there was a burial ground, a Native American burial ground in the middle of town, and that the the Indians would come back. Like, as people were settling there, the Indians would come back, you know, once a year, and they'd burn whiskey on the graves and do other things. It's, a, it's, it's what this article says here. Um, the people used to say and, my, my, my cul-de-sac was built on an Indian burial, burial ground. That's Shit. that's that's where I was going with this is okay. that eventually <laughs> okay. the white people were just like either move the dead people or we're going to develop on the land. And so people's houses are built on that land. And like, um, yeah, I remember it was a couple of years ago. Somebody told me that they plowed Indian burial grounds in the middle of town to like, is that like the bend the around condos. where there's like the condos? Oh, yeah, I'm that's pretty what sure I put, like the statues and the like. I got the images. American up. Wars like statue or some shit. Yeah, we're, we're all the images all there. there. Oh, man, my, uh, my 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 grandpa was a uh, a shaman, so he protected us by blessing the house when we built it. So we're all good. You better hope so. 
All right, this is Divine Highway. This What's that Fabiano's entail? Book. Did you know about that? Like the shaman? Oh, dude, when I was like five or six, my younger brother shot a squirt gun into a lamp and got electrocuted. And we brought Ooh. him to a shaman that lived in the projects by my grandma. Seems like a weird choice. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, <laughs> it was it. I, shamans kind of exist to make you feel better. They're not really there to cure you or anything, you know? He hit, hit like what happened to my brother was like he. He got electrocuted, and the bottom of his foot was, like, burnt. So you could that's, like, where the electricity Whoa. left him. But Whoa. we brought him to the shaman. The shaman, I, I remember it pretty vividly. It was just, like, an old guy. And he would like, he was, just like, sticking a match into his mouth, closing his mouth, opening it, and the match was still lit. And he was just, like... And blessed. then he blows it up your nose. <laughs> he just, like, he just, uh, like, blessed my brother. Nice. And, you know, he, I don't think it worked. Paul's weird. You know that. Right. Probably, it probably hurt him, honestly. The, the, the <laughs> little zap was fine. This shaman blowing little match smoke into his nose. I don't know. That's a but serious yeah. electrical burn, though. Holy shit. That's that's crazy. Crazy. Yeah, that was crazy. Wow. I, I, I saw it happen, man. It was insane. But, uh, um, that's but... why you don't squirt, squirt guns at light, uh, lights inside your home. Well, now we got non-incandescent bulbs. I wonder if that's, you know, more, they're probably more protected, right? Probably. The right. circuit. No, what like are we looking at? Under. So this is the middle of town. You can see the two rivers, one coming from the bottom left and one coming from the right. That's where it meets. And I've circled where I'm pretty sure the Indian burial grounds were. And um, if you go to the next picture here, this is what's that same area where the the river meets. And you can see those condos were built. There's a park in there now. Um, and actually, my band's going to play. New? There's a, there's a band these. shell Ooh. there. The Soon my band to play. Nice. Right where the Indian burial ground was, we're gonna be we're gonna be conjuring up the spirits. Wait, wait, is this right here? Um, that ice cream place? No, that's that's Fabiano's. I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, River House Grill. What's that? It, that's right on the river. Isn't I swear there's like an ice cream place right there. Mm, oh, Frosty Boys across the street, but it's gone. That's Conflux, oh, the brewery now. What? Across so so Frosty so, Boy makes food for Conflex that's across the street. All right, it's been a little bit since I've been in that part. So you don't actually go in Frosty Boy anymore, and they don't do ice cream. That is sad. Dang. I know they were the OG dude. They had the deck over the river. Yeah, it was. But, uh, it was right here. Like I remember this little area. Yeah, just south of town, there's some state land, and uh, that's where I go looking for morels. Which it's almost morel season, by the way. I can't so. believe you gave that up. Your secret. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, state land. I mean, I y you could go ahead, go to state land. You're not gonna find the shit because <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm not showing it yet. I'm not a sure. handful of spots. <laughs> okay, here's Portland. With confidence, you're not gonna find. It. Yeah, just south of Portland, there's some state land, a bunch of acres on the river. Um, but out there is Chief Okemos's grave. Chief so Okemos, kind of tie in the uh, the okay. Indians of Portland. So if Chief Okemos's grave is over here, why is the town of Okemos all the way over here? He had a big impact, clearly, on Michigan. Right, right. I uh, grew up uh, near uh, Tecumseh, the grave of Chief Okemos, right here. Yeah, wow. I've never been there. You've never been to the, that? It, dude, it's it's a bit eerie. I've been you there, You can man. see, you know, it's so beautiful because, like, the river basin all along the R Grand River is, it can be pretty large. Like, honestly, the city of Portland, how on either side there's a hill, that is a river basin that... um carved out over a lot of years it's really weird to think about when you drive through town it, oh, it's like bell. a big u yeah there's the taco bell he's talking about that is the taco bell there oh yeah let's get it yeah, be street view. that is the taco bell that gave me the really oh, shitty cheesy gordita crunch i was honestly i was upset <laughs> dude i had just come from across the street honestly this was this was bad oh they still got across the street no, look at the cross. You went street. to McDonald's. <laughs> I was at McDonald's first because I had to get the double Big Mac. It come out. Is Ben Ben still there? Um, Who's working McDonald's nowadays? Robbie. Not... Robbie works at McDonald's. Robbie's working. I actually saw Robbie the other day. Oh man, is Barb dead? I, I don't <laughs> know. Fuck, I'm not sure if Barb's dead. <laughs> okay, uh, Jeez, Dan. There was there was a lady named before. Barb Jeez. that worked there. Uh, our friend Derek named one of his songs after it. It was it's called Sup Barb. Because they would say sup, Barb, when, you know, Barb, oh. Barb, Barb was the lady that smoked a lot of cigarettes and ran the, the drive through at McDonald's. Let's see. There was, there was Barb and then there was Rhonda. I don't remember um, Rhonda. Barb wasn't really a cigarette smoker. Rhonda was. 
Wait, I remember Barb's voice being real low. low. Am I thinking of somebody else? She was like kind of small and she tried to run the show, but I remember I was there 17 and like the girl's popping off and she wanted to kick me off like the top top of the grill and she's going slow and I just was like, and she's like yelling at me and shit and I'm like, get out of here. Like you're making it worse. Leave. And she left. Because she was. It was. She was slowing the shit down. I had, I had to tell Barb off. Dude, I remember I graduated high school. I was, I didn't quite turn 18 yet, and uh, they made a pass at me becoming a manager at McDonald's at 18, and I moved across the country. I, was, I couldn't even get a job there when I was 18, dude. You got enlisted. <laughs> no, well, this was like 2008, 2009, man. Nobody could get a job. Dude, I, the, I, when I was 16, I walked into McDonald's, and I just asked for a job, and I got a job. Well, you see, that that was 2007, right? That wasn't 2008, 2009. Things were so Right, I already okay had then. a job, but nobody wanted to work fast food. It's the same old, old stuff, you know? My mom wanted me to work at the Chinese buffet. <laughs> I said, no thank you. It's kind of weird that my early experience in working wouldn't be relevant on a resume anymore. Wait, why would it be, man? It's yeah, shit phases out. I mean... Uh, yeah, I used to put that was my resume at one point. Like I'm, I'm, I'm applying with with this on my resume. Can I put on uh, my resume? Just, now you don't want to talk about it. You know, you <laughs> don't want to talk about like it. That. I did right. dish, dishes at a lesbian. That bar. Should that mean. be on my resume? <laughs> I think dishes. You can really hype up the role. You know, um, dish leader. Dish leader. <laughs> I think WoW rank, StarCraft rank, all needs to be on your resume. I mean, every honestly, time, no matter what. I think some of us, you know, all of us probably have decent enough video game credentials at some point in our life that we could like make it real where you put on your resume and you validate it during, you know, an interview and they're like, wow, you're right. I mean, I I use 10 K hours in, so I'm naturally a professional. I had skill capped on my resume. Yeah. I mean, you should have, man. That was a pretty big deal. I helped start that shit, man. It was an in-game letter. That a dude sent, and that dude is so fucking rich now. No way, dude. Beelage, we're posting this on your YouTube channel. 30,000 30, subs, almost. We're trying to go up in subs. I don't know if we're going down or not. Still from last upload, we got fifty views. This, this but is, this is the guy. Who is Sal Arrington? The guy that started Skill Cat. Oh, nice. He's got. Is that a Patagonia? I said he's pretty rich now, man. At a Gucci. Like, <laughs> Dang. But, uh, yeah. they, they used to pay me five bucks a minute for videos back then. So I, I uh, tried to do an even 20 minutes for a hundred bucks. Ooh. Paid my, uh, my rent when I was living with Zero. Damn, that's badass. Dude, why aren't we on the internet anymore? We've never been able to do the internet. You know, we suck, dude. What are you uh, talking about? No, dude. Like, listen. Why aren't we selling beanies or some shit on the internet? Yeah, you and gotta people... find an online business. Yeah, where's medium. our? We've never made the money except for Beelage with his his you know twenty minute vids. Okay, skill dude. In in uh in uh twenty ten, I was on a two hour long phone call with a guy named Husky Starcraft. Right? Oh, we know Husky. Yeah, I remember Husky. He tried to convince me to drop out of college, and I didn't listen to him. You probably should have. And he's he's got half a million subscribers. He's uh probably best he known looks as uh, crazy now. Yeah, Holy he's he's a uh, Rosina her. He's a uh, her um manager. Damn. This, uh, Rose, what's I don't remember her name. Is she the one with the really huge mouth? You, you know that there's that <laughs> huge mouth lady on TikTok. Have you seen her? <laughs> I don't know who you're talking about. Dude, type in huge mouth lady. It's great. A huge mouth. Huge lady. mouth lady TikTok. Okay. It looks like this girl, but with a huge mouth. Yeah. <laughs> it's real. Oh, my God. She does have a huge mouth. She didn't even smoke that donut. <laughs> oh, no. What? So wide. Uh. She did, like, Joker stuff. Cut her mouth open. Oh, my gosh, dude. That mouth is like a grapefruit. Did you guys get a chance to see the Joker trailer? No. I seen the first one though like a month or two months ago. 
You just now That's saw crazy. The, the 2019 yeah. Joker movie? It's like, people are like, he's. it's a sad movie. And it's like, he's a mentally ill, schizo, incel, loner. That is the movie. Murderer. And that he's is... He's not... It's not sad. Like, he's that is the. Up. That's the target demo, <laughs> dude. They see it but as dude, sad. Yeah, everyone's like, well, it makes me sad, you know? He went through... It's like, what are you talking about? So, uh, in uh, you can see in the trailer here, he meets uh, Lady Gaga in his... Uh, mental uh, asylum and uh there's a shot in this trailer that confirms this is a harley and a joker movie because there where is it at is right that a there. good thing boom well people were like uh when they you know first started making the movie they were denying that lady gaga was playing harley quinn Ooh, but i they wouldn't the have release they wouldn't have this shot the last joker he got an academy award for didn't he oh yeah and uh he's he's a uh, like known for not doing sequels so if he did a sequel to this then uh what if he gets the academy award for this that's honestly you know the funny shit about the joker man it's made by the guy that made the hangover movies that's pretty wild first hangover movie looks great it's really well made second and third not so much oh no i think the og was uh but this right here dude this shit is loving this shit is genius right here man she, super just, bad. Just, yeah. just watch, watch this super right bad here. Was the OG. Super bad and the Hangover were legendary for oh, sure. Yeah. She draws the little uh, little lipstick on there, so she wants to see the real him. He's got so much prosthetic on. You think he does? I don't think he does. That's you all think that's true. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's just Is how it? he looks, man. He's just lost a lot of weight for this. Oh, he's super skin. Yeah. I think it's looking pretty good. It's supposed to be like a jukebox musical movie, like 15 songs where they play like they, they sing covers of hits. Everyone loved it when he was like doing the dance, singing the song, going down the stairs in that one scene that they're like, we'll make the whole movie, the whole next movie. Just that. It really, though, that's in that's in the movie. Yeah. It looks pretty good, though. The first one was surprisingly good because I, you know, seen a couple of the butt mans and butt man is just butt hit man. and miss. He oh. was like nipple man, and now he's butt man. Who? What? Batman. Oh, Batman. Batman hasn't been nipple man since the George Clooney Batman. That Batman Forever. But you you know him as such, so it's a thing. Yeah. How often does Batman let his nipples? you know, be exposed to the, to the elements. I don't know. I've ever, I've ever seen Batman's nipples. Have you seen, the, have you seen the scene in a uh, Batman forever where, um, dude, that movie was pretty sweet. Bat Batman has a credit card and he says he never leaves the cave without it. I remember like having a crush on Ivy and I was like, I don't care if she paralyzes me. I'd love that. I would prefer that. Like, she can take care of me. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I'll be paralyzed just wa looking around and I'd be happier than I've ever been. <laughs> hey, Uma Thurman Follow is your uh, eyes. Poison Ivy in this one. This one's got Arnold Schwarzenegger as a... As a... What? Uh, Mr. Is it Mr. Fro Why can't I think of it? Ice Mr. Man. Freeze! Oh, it's like, I was thinking Mr. Frost. That's not his name. His name's Victor Freeze. It's actually similar to my last name. Um, Dang. You know, it almost sounds like your name. You know, the origin of uh, Mr. Freeze is that he's supposed to, like, have his wife who's got an incurable disease, and he's just trying to save her life. But, like, it's revealed that, like, he never had a relationship with a woman. She was already sick. She was already frozen. And he like, developed the uh, relationship with her after she was already in his lab. So he's just he's just another crazy Batman villain. Dude. All right. I had, I had an idea the other day in the shower. And it's honestly, it's a billion-dollar idea. So, you know how the border is getting just hammered right now, right? Which and border? I don't know if they've made progress or not, or if people still are $100,000 or 100000 a month or whatever, 30, 100. I don't know how many people are coming. A lot, right? Michigan border? Yeah, somebody's got to pick those blueberries in South Haven. Well, that's what I'm oh, thinking shit. is we, we get some land and then we create like a sunset ridge. So, like a little, like a Trailer housing. Park. A, like a trailer park, but it's with tiny homes, and we call it dinky casas. And then you you get you've got hundreds of of tiny homes, 
that are aimed at migrants and people that are, you know, traveling or whatever, or, you know, trying to trying to make their way, you know, their first home in America, dinky casas, you know. You guys ever been to Sunset Ridge on purpose? I've passed it. I, I, I feel drove like I should through go the in there day. and walk through. I think it's crazy how many houses. You drove through the other day. Yeah, I think when we were I in live right by there. Yeah, when we were in high school, it, like these houses thing. didn't exist, right? Like this, they there's kept... so many back there now. It's crazy. It looks like they're making more. They are just taking over the wagon wheels backyard. And the, the thing is, they're right houses. outside of city limits, so they don't pay city taxes. But all of those people go to the public school and you know use the roads and use use all of the you know amenities, but they don't pay tax because they're outside of city limits. They use the city fountain. Or are they outside it's city limits? Honestly, li- bullshit. Was I outside city limits too then? Because like my address was definitely uh, Portland. The, the Spruce, those apartments, those no. are outside. Oh my my uh, my old house on. Uh... You were outside of city limits. Yep. Oh. All right. <laughs> city limits is like I literally my house is on city limits edge. What? That's like not even. You're telling like, me. You're telling me that um the west west side is outside the city limits. No, that's inside. I'm I'm just beyond that. Okay, okay. I thought I could have sworn that was. Is what's his name still working there? Jake. Is Jake still in Portland. Uh, no, he 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 does not work there. I haven't but, seen uh, him since uh maybe 2016. What do you guys think about Dinky Casas? We can't just um skip over that. I think that's a billion dollar idea. I don't, I mean, I, I think... That's it's, a huge liability, man. You think they're going to keep up the houses and respect your property or whatever? You they're know, paying, like, dude. Yeah, but any anytime you have, like, renters, I mean, that's uh, enacting some kind of, like, misery No, they buy yourself. it just like a trailer park. It's their home. What they're about buying these? It. They're, they're, you know, probably renting the land to some degree. There's a lot fee. What about these, man? Uh, you can buy a... Twenty-two thousand bucks. Look at that little that dinky casa. You can 11-4. buy dinky casas on Amazon for under twenty k. Dude, honestly, and then you sell it for forty thousand. Where in where in America can you get a house for forty thousand? Dinky casas. Uh, I feel like these are probably worse. Just buying a, a shipping container and and like retrofitting it. Where are you gonna get a welder? Learn how. We're gonna to have weld. a bunch of a bunch of welders. Can't be that dude, hard, man. You just dinky casas, dude. You buy them off Amazon. It's like it's not like welders are known for being intelligent. Okay, it can't be that hard to weld. Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking Amazon's a good idea. Check out the Alibaba <laughs> tiny homes real quick. I'm not. I can't going believe they to have Alibaba. On Amazon for real though. I don't go to That's Alibaba. Do you have to like self assemble or do you have to like? Oh no, they actually. They, I watched it? a video on this. They bring dudes out there to assemble it for you. Whoa, that's part of the cost. So. Dang. You guys been watching anything recently? Shogun. Uh, Shogun. Yeah. Are you actually both watching Shogun, the uh, the Japanese history show? Must be. Whatever it is, yeah. What what do you mean, whatever it is. Dad, if you're watching it, yeah, you know what it is, man. <laughs> it's Game of Thrones <laughs> Japanese style, right? Like There is yeah. some nudity. Ag- Sparing nudity. So, if, you know. Oh, well. I mean, I was thinking I, about I don't it. even think it's, like, worth mentioning, because it's really... It's only, what, what, two episodes or something? There... I it's won't. Like I don't want to spoil too much. But there is a ball sack. Yeah. Like a goat. Somebody goats with a, with the, you know, the goat from uh, the waiting, where you you Wait. you bend over and you, you can see your, you know, nuts from behind. You know, you yeah, your ass and then the nuts, and that's called the goat. And you get one in Shogun. So I don't even know that. <laughs> it, I didn't want to spoil too much, but that. It's That's a, big spoilers. A, a nice Easter egg for you guys to. That'll for. entice people to watch it, if anything. So I've been thinking about watching that, but I don't know if it's like Game of Thrones. I, just, I don't ever want to do that again. Um, what's wrong <laughs> with Game of Thrones? I finally watched that. Did you watch the end of it? Yeah. You didn't watch it like people, as it was coming out, right? So you were probably no, okay with it. <laughs> I heard everyone said like it was the ending was the worst, you know, and all that. But there's, there's this, aliens. That, people are like, there's aliens that come down and shit. That's not but, true. They're, no, yeah. like the, the problem with Game of Thrones is they smashed that last season. Like they combined two unreleased books into the last season. Oh okay? man, that's what happened. I don't want to. I haven't thought about the last season of Game of Thrones in a while, and it was like one of the most disappointing, like, finales of all time. I mean, really left us. I think a, really a stain on the legacy that is Game of Thrones. Pitiful. Why do you think it was so bad? I just remember feeling deflated. Like it was like 
this this is how they're gonna do us. Like I was actually I was disappointed. I it, think the hero is the anti hero. John is more a bad just like guy. stupid like John like, is not at no point a bad guy. In the early seasons, he's a bad guy. He creates a lot of problems. Jon Snow? So like the first four seasons, he just fucks up and makes shit worse. Isn't it's probably he just like an orphan boy? He's a little bastard. He just wants to bang his aunt. And his dad's one of the most <laughs> powerful men in the town. Well, his dad's dead the end of the first season, dude. It doesn't matter. Um, but, but is that really his dad? You'll have to watch to find out. Um, anyways, this week, uh, you guys ever play Fallout? All right. Well, well, three, three onward. I probably played them all. You played three, New Vegas, and four then, and seventy six. I have only played Fallout four, and then maybe like a couple hours of three in New Vegas. I abused seventy six so much they tried banning my account a couple times. Nice, uh, because I would bog the server down, just like building bases that would trap new players, and then there was like an inventory glitch, and I kept using that, and it would make the server, the whole server, lag. (laughs) <laughs> so I used it so much. It Pretty good game. Everyone else's experience up, and they found out it was me. Apparently, so sweet. The people I was playing with hated me for it, but I, I just denied I was doing it because I was like, "No, I, I don't have a problem. It's not me." <laughs> That's sweet. But uh, this week, Wednesday, all episodes drop for this new uh, Amazon Prime Fallout show. It's made by um, Jonathan Nolan and Lisa Joy, who made Westworld. And at least the first, the, f- the first two seasons, maybe the third season, definitely not the fourth season of Westworld, are pretty good. You know, Westworld ends. I don't know nothing about. It. I know it's a book. Is it vampires? No, it's uh, it's, it's, it's robots. It's like robots AI. You ever watch Vampire Diaries? Oh. Neither me. <laughs> That's the one where if you wear a ring, you don't burn in the sun. I think they do have rings. Yeah, I didn't, <laughs> but I wouldn't know. <laughs> oh, you wouldn't know. <laughs> you wouldn't know. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, the only vampire show I've watched is True Blood, which was uh, all right. I like how the vampires exploded. But uh, this show, listen, this show, pretty good. Eight episodes. Fall out, fall out I, the show. Fall out the show. It's um, yeah. The concept of Fallout is uh, the 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 nukes, the nukes uh, didn't end the World War II. There's a resource race, and then like in the late '40s, early '50s, there's more nukes. Then they destroy the whole world. But this company called Vault Tech made like a couple hundred. Uh, underground vaults where they're running experiments on people uh, to see like what the best way to run a vault is but uh, this show it's got a bunch of unknowns but it's got Kyle MacLachlan from uh, Twin Peaks or uh, the original that's Dune not, that's, that's not a good shout out Dune? the original Dune uh, I watched that at your house no, no, the original Dune. <laughs> Isn't that Dune? That's the Dune. That's the that is the new Dune, the newer one. Yes, that it's the original remake? Dune. The original Dune came out in the eighties, <laughs> man. Is that Star Wars? It, dude, Star Wars is a rip off of Dune. Dune's the original Star Wars. Pretty much, the book came out. Yeah, yeah, pretty, basically. Why don't I know that? Isn't that doesn't that I, seem like I, I'm kind of surprised you didn't know this? Yeah, <laughs> Dune. I thought it was the a new Starlight movie. Pit. There is the a new Dune. Worms. The new Dune is made by the guy that made Blade Runner 2049, also a 1980s movie. What about, what was it, the but Frank a, Hubert Dune movie? He wrote the book. Wasn't that like a... Frank Herbert wrote Dune. Dune. I thought there was like another movie aside from that one in the 80s, but I'm probably... There is an early 2000s TV series starring John McAvoy. Oh, that's what I'm thinking of. I haven't seen that one. But uh, this show, pretty good. It's like lore accurate. You know, like they they got they got the mech suits, they got the uh, the ghouls, they got like this her in the outfit. That's like basically how you look at the beginning of uh, Fallout Four, if you you know you can get that kind of gear. But she's an idiot, and uh, she's got to go save her dad. And I am about to finish the last episode, so I don't know what happened yet. Remember, uh, everyone complained about when they released the first trailer because there was a dude with one eye, like, you know, like a Cyclops guy. Yeah, it's Chris everyone Parnell. Everyone saw that, and they said. This this show's shit. Well, it's gone it's, to hell. Yeah, okay. Well, the, I can explain that character. That character is from a vault where um, it was run by scientists, and they just experimented on people for hundreds of years. So Chris Parnell's character is a cyclops because he was uh, he's a genetically modified person. Um, but uh, that uh, he's it's played by Chris Parnell, who's uh, Doctor Spachemin in Thirty Rock, or um, Morty's dad, in Rick and Morty. Never seen it. Uh, he's Chris Parnell on SNL. 
<laughs> you know these things. SNL. Uh, Bill Hader. No. <laughs> that guy's in the office. Bill Hader's sweet. No, he's not. Bill Hader? Bill Hader? Bill Hader's not in the office. Bill Hader's, um, uh, what's that show? Barry. Is Dwight. Barry. Watch Barry. Barry's good. HBO Max. Uh, I watched the first couple of seasons, but like I started feeling like the guy isn't a character I want to root for. I'm sure yeah, like it ends he okay. Just kill people. Yeah, yeah, he, he kills yeah he's just kind of justifies killing anybody anytime. <laughs> but uh, the, the show's pretty good. Uh, it's even got a dog in it. Got yeah, the mystery of the vaults because like no, the people that are in the vaults they don't know that they're being experimented. Does, does that make me want to watch it because it has a dog in it? That seems like a weird quality. It's got of a movie nice little German like, chef. If you play trying Fall- to sell me, isn't there a dog in Fallout Four? Yeah, is a German Shep. Yeah, it's that. Is it actually a German Shepherd? Yes, and his name is Dog Meat. What if it was just a wiener dog? No, it's it's, it's they they only breed G- German Shepherds. Could you breed a German Shepherd and a wiener dog? I'm sure you could. You should look it's... it up. Ger- German Shepherd wiener dogs. <laughs> because you could have it. It's really smart. Um, but you're kind of fucking its biology up. Oh my gosh. Is that just a puppy or is that? Ooh, it's like a little like wiener dog husky. That's pretty cute. It's like a corgi or some shit. It is kind of like a corgi. Yeah. I don't, I don't know why you'd want one of these. Wiener dogs are like, like bred for digging in holes and killing like gophers and shit. Right. They're rat killers. All right, I don't need a wiener dog, German Shepherd. Look up a Whippet. You ever see a Whippet? This like, is the kind of dog. Yeah, my, my parents' neighbors rescued a bunch, so it's cool. I worked with some of them, and is this, they're pretty crazy. Is, Are they? This, do they have a lot of energy? Is this like a baby That's greyhound? It's just a personality. It's like a small greyhound? In a it's way, like a yeah. yeah it's a good way to look at it, yeah. Is this the kind of dog Jenna Marbles had? She might have had a little one, but... These are like medium sized dogs. They're a lot smaller than Greyhound. That's like a hoo hoo almost. That's like a miniature Greyhound. She had two of them. It, they look like miniature mini Greyhounds. All right. Good for nothing, if you ask me. I mean, they're they're nice. My, my sister's Little got two of them. Dogs. She's got two mini wiener, Greyhounds? Uh, two wiener dogs. Mm, nice. A couple of wiens. Ketchup and mustard. My sister has five dogs. Ooh, it's a lot of shit to clean up. Dude, when you walk five dogs, yeah, dogs you, small. you need to be grabbing poop in those little bags all the time. You know, you got five loads that you're picking up every day. Just, you know, big, warm dog poop hand loads. That's true. That is dog ownership. I want to show you guys my shit. sister's dogs, but I can never remember her YouTube channel name. Courtney. Probably commented on the other one. Oh, yeah. Or she has like different accounts, probably. Genius. But uh, she's like, I have a, I have a mini Aussie. And about six months after I got my mini Aussie, she got two uh, toy Aussies. Whoa. That's so, high energy. Oh, they definitely are. They're really smart, though. So, good time. Liked your dog so much. was like, yeah, I need that. Yeah, she's got a boy and a girl. Her her boy dog, uh, Atlas, looks kind of like Boots. They're pretty cute. I haven't showed Boots the pod yet. I should probably do that, huh? Rudy. Yeah, let's see Boots on the pod. Rudy, come here. Looks like the same dog almost. Yeah, similar. All right, let's see a trick. Let's speak. Ooh, that was a good trick. Speak. <laughs> Come speak. on, let's see a trick. Let's speak. Oh. <laughs> speak. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> like you make me do these things. Okay. Oh, man. Nice. She's got shoes on here. Look at the little butts, man. They're cute. The only issue with these dogs is they cost so goddamn much. The dogs yeah. cost initially? I think I told you guys, but I bought mine with the Joe Biden stim check. Ooh. Did they barb the tails, or is that just, like, naturally? They, they cut them. Whoa. I don't think any dog has a natural no-tail, do they? 
And there's some breeds that do, but I just can't keep track of it. Yeah, I, mean, I feel like if they hadn't done it, their tails would whack everything all the time, so I get why. But, like, it, it's, like, my... Do my they dog... have, like, a natural, like, pig swirl tail or some shit? Like... No, no, no. <laughs> like a regular... Like a lab tail. Yeah, it's a regular little tail. It's not like a... a no. Like a... Uh, uh, sh... Husky tail, you know, where they curve? It's not yeah, like that. Yeah. But she still has, like, a little nub, so she still wiggles it. Atlas here, he's pretty good at wiggling his butt. She's posted so many of these. All right, what were we talking about? Fallout um, show. Oh, yeah, the Fallout show, man. The best show. I wouldn't say it's the best show. There's some, like, cringe moments. Best new show. And there's, like, some... Is Westworld uh, better? Uh, The first season of Westworld's definitely better. The first season of Westworld's really good. Damn. Second season, too. Third season, no. Fourth season... Fourth, in the fourth season of West, I'm just gonna say it. In the fourth season of Westworld, anytime a uh, a robot person sees a human person, they fucking kill themselves. <laughs> That's how the, the show ends. The uh, the robots just start committing suicide, uh, and it doesn't make a lot of sense, but uh, it's, that's the way she goes. I like a lot of uh, Creighton's work, so I, I'm surprised I didn't read that one yet. But that's that's the guy that uh, wrote Jurassic Park. Yeah. What else? Uh, Prey. I think it was a book like Rain. Uh, he, he wrote a decent amount. He was a global warming denier. The Andromeda Strain. That's a vampire so he, thing, right? You know, he, he made the dinosaur book, and that kind of is funny as hell. But So, in the news, there was something about discrimination. Is that right? Or it's who? That's all what, against blind people. Wasn't there a blind discrimination? Is that not a thing? What are you talking about? Okay, so this is maybe it was just a shower thought that I had, but you know, we're always on our phones or our iPads. You know, the iPad generation that we talked about, the the new kids. Uh, it's discriminating against blind people. Literally, all of the blind people are excluded from touch screens because it's smooth. They're are they talking to their touch screen? Yeah, they ha they have a um, a thing where uh, like a screen reader that like reads whatever's on your screen out loud, you know. So they still have a smartphone or an iPad, but they just talk to it all the time and it talks back. Yeah, I feel like they probably just don't use the tech equivalently. I mean, they're probably like doing audio audio like notes, you know, recording little clips. Yeah, I'm going to need to get a blind person's podcast. So if you know one, please put it in the comments below. I want to hear blind podcasts because you know that they're they're using all that technology and, you know, probably on a smartphone, they're going to call their manager and yeah. tell them, you know, fuck you, I make all your money for you, so I'm a bad bitch and you're not. We had, like, and... the best chance. Um, the eclipse was, you know, only a few days ago. That was like, you know, prime time. For, it was probably like some kid, you know, in Michigan that you know, definitely went blind during that time. We just got to find him. They told Can't everyone not to. Like, it was pretty easy to look at the sun, okay? When it was, when it was eclipsing. Without, without the, the internet was aided, telling you, don't. Vision. Without the, I looked at it for about two seconds without the glasses. Ooh. And that was enough. But, like, uh, you, you couldn't really see the eclipse at all without glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, we we weren't like that close to the path route. If you're like in we're the pretty path close, route, man, we were at ninety six percent or whatever. That's pretty close. Like even yeah. when it was at peak, though, I went out there like three twelve ish when it was peak. It's three eleven, three eleven to three fifteen in our area. It was peaking. Yeah, uh, path of totality. So, yeah, it was the sun and the moon were uh, trying to get lewd and exotic together, and you guys are trying to peek on their sensitive times. So, so, Bill, you think that blind people can't use smart smartphones? Well, you know, we're all scrolling on TikTok. Are they listening to TikTok? You know, are they getting on TikTok and listening to it? What if there's like an or... audio-only version of TikTok? So they're getting on TikTok and they're swiping vids, but they're listening to them. Dude, I want to see what a blind person's algorithm is. Like, how does it lead you differently when you can't see the booty shaking on the screen? You know what I'm saying? Because they're showing that to everyone. I'll tell you, YouTube shorts and TikTok's algorithm is way different. My they TikTok only is listen like to ASMR. 
super weird and my youtube's like <laughs> pretty normal yeah youtube shorts is like to me the algorithm like doesn't try to force you to watch crazy shit <laughs> and tiktok my got. algorithm's breastfeeding <laughs> that that was a thing that was a thing dude yeah literally my tiktok i got to the point where 80 percent of my videos were like breastfeeding <laughs> videos 80 percent like but but the, but the thing was there was always a nipple slip i'm you know, surprised there isn't like a, a big breastfeeding twitch streamer that's crazy dog yeah, I mean, so I don't know how my TikTok, my YouTube's never going to do dark that. Dark side of the web. But it, it, it was insane. There, there is an account out there with that algorithm that I just, it's, I could probably find out how to log into it, some email. So you're going to survive the TikTok ban? I haven't been on TikTok in a minute, but we have a TikTok. Beelage, have you posted anything on our TikTok yet? That's for you to do, Bill. Oh, crap. Yeah, I, I have made zero <laughs> short. <laughs> anything for the pod yet it's... so no excuses 50 58 views on our first pod no our second pod so maybe our youtube short could hit 100 views uh this week so go maybe. to our shorts if you post any short it's gonna hit over 100 views like just default i think it we're missing the boat here if, um, if, our, if our friend benny can do it you know what we should do <laughs> is get on Fiverr and hire an Indonesian person to um, watch our pod and then make three shorts. Dude, I just Honestly, heard it... we could probably pay 15 bucks and get three shorts. And they like put in sweet little effects and stuff. We're like, dang, dude, you're like good and cheap. Now, Indonesia was one of the first countries to rise up against uh, colonial powers after World War II. Yeah, well, everyone likes money. <laughs> what? What? Why is that your reaction to that? <laughs> I mean, or an Indian person, because there's a lot of Indians, and they but, could probably edit edit shorts for us. Oh yeah, <laughs> we don't Indians need. Indians are beating the an Indian guy doing shorts. Right? It would it would help us all. No, what we should do is encourage our viewers to write a timestamp or their favorite moment in the show in the comments, and we turn that into a short. Ooh, that's a good idea. We should next vid. We'll have to remind everyone. Post your short. You know, po post your your timestamp for where the short's supposed to be. We'll make you a short just for you. You know, <laughs> share it at Thanksgiving this year. Your family's gonna love it. You can't believe that they made this short for you. It is April. It's you got a lot of time. Think about what your short's gonna be. Okay. It'll be just a compilation of everyone's breaths. All right, so our final video of the day. <laughs> Want to introduce us to this brand oh, new clip, Bill? Okay, so, you know, DJ Khaled, he's a, a music producer, you know, another one. You know, he is incredible, works with Justin Bieber, Usher, you know, plenty of people. And uh, here he is on Hot Ones, and, you know, he is trying to eat these hot wings. Let's see how he's doing. No, if you want to switch, we can switch. But... I want to switch. All right. All right. Hot switch ones first. Hot ones first. Dude, I had a like... ghost pepper hot sauce that just no, destroyed me. Listen, and I'm going to tell you something right now for all my fans. I promise I mean, you, it, it like tastes kind of nice, but then up. you just try to eat more <laughs> and it, it ruins That's everything. A... There's the classic line there right there. Uh, <laughs> listen, 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 listen to what DJ Khaled says right here. I promise you, if I stop. Right here. here you go. Listen, and let me tell you something right now for all my fans. I promise you, if I stop, doesn't mean I gave up. <laughs> yes, it does. Mm -mm. <laughs> By definition. I'm going to teach you something today. Okay. <laughs> we can't play ourselves. We can't play our health. We can't hurt ourselves. See, that's the key. Now, there's people that will do dumb shit, fuck around, hurt themselves, trying to get to the what you call a victory. This shit ain't no victory to me, my brother. This shit ain't doing nothing but me but causing problems to me. I ain't gonna say I stop yet, but right now, it's getting close. And it's I'm getting close. Just take a bite. Just take a bite. Anyways, uh, DJ Khaled is one of the first, pieces, first people to ever give up my brother, on Hot Ones. You got it. You got this. Right? He's incredible. They have like a hall of shame for people that gave up. There's probably like a variation in like how soused up the wings are. You know what I mean? Like they do some justice to some people they bring on and... 
indecency to others by saucing their wings too much. You ever see the the uh, one of the Steve-O ones where he uh, mixes all the sauces together and pours into his eye? Yeah, I have seen that. <laughs> Steve-O's pod's kind of weird. Have you guys ever watched Steve-O's pod? Steve-O, I think, is um, he's turned his life around, man. Yeah, definitely. He's very stable. He, it's... Cut, he cut off Bam, though. Bam's coming right. back. He is. He's he's trying to get um you know stop drinking and stuff. So hopefully he can make it there. It's it, I think we'd all like to see Bam in a similar place to where Steve O's at. I don't think anyone wants to see Bam self destruct. He looks like he's losing a little bit of weight. He was looking like a lot like Phil for a bit there. Yeah, he looks pretty clear here. His complexion. And you remember watching Evil of Bam, where Bam just beat up his parents. For that, sure. That was the whole show. He just beat up his dad. Right. It was sweet. <laughs> <laughs> OG pranksters. Uncle Vito. True. Or These Don are Vito. the OG pranksters. Before YouTube, this this was, you know, it was VHS tapes, which is, you know, not a video on the computer. It's it's not even a CD. It's like literal pieces of huge hunks of plastic. And they they were recording probably straight to VHS. With like a huge camera back in the day. Uh, it was probably mini DV tape. In in the early mid nineties. What are you talking about, Jackass? Yeah, Jackass was like post two thousand, man. Was it? Yeah. Wasn't yeah. in the nineties. Jackass three seasons. Two thousand. Yeah, it was a definite... yeah. It started in two thousand. The original re- release, but before that, they they were coming up. Yeah. Um, 96. Yeah, they started filming stunts in 96. <laughs> Dude, I love this video. Lil Wayne doing a kickflip. Yeah, I, I just the... wanted to show everybody yeah. this classic clip here. <laughs> Great job, Lil Wayne. I know he can definitely do a kickflip flip now. He's been skating for years. It's a young money millionaire. He can do anything he wants, man. Dude, uh, Lil Wayne. Um, he, was, he was also at WrestleMania, by the way. Thank God Lil Wayne's still around. Because, you know, I think there was, a, there was a time when he was hitting the lean a bit. And, like, we could have lost Lil Wayne. Like, you, ever, you, know Lil Wayne's, dropping, you know Lil Wayne's story? You know Lil Wayne's story of where he accidentally shot himself in the chest when he was a kid? Right. I, I knew know he got that. shot. He shot himself on accident. Right. Do you think that's why he's so small? He used well, he, he used the story to explain why he wasn't racist because like a, a a white cop picked him up off the floor and drove him to the ER himself. Ooh. But other cops just stepped over his body. Because he shot himself, but he crawled all the way to his front door. Yeah, Lil Wayne just dropped an album um with two chains called Welcome to Collie Grove. He was also at WrestleMania. Who? Two Chains? Yep. Damn, they're probably and then Wayne dropped another album in twenty three, just himself. Yeah, I'm not up on the all the all Wayne's all Wayne's stuff, but the last two CDs I bought, one was the Carter three, and the second one was that uh Daft Punk album. The big one. That I think won the Grammys. Okay. I bought those two CDs on a road trip. Those are the last two CDs I ever bought. What was what was the deal with him and Birdman? He just was like in the record label group and had to yeah, do Yeah, Birdman time was like the the record label like OG. Yeah, like, right. Wouldn't let him release an album or something. I don't remember. He was not, you can find really old Lil Wayne like videos, music videos from when he was like probably sixteen. Was it a, was it like a Birdman Diddy situation or? Oh, I don't know. Birdman might be with Diddy, dude. Did you guys, Probably not. You guys see that clip like of a, uh, Diddy, like a verb, you know? Diddy touching Mike Tyson's leg? Oh. It truly is. Me see. Oh, yes. He's glittering. about the Benjamin. Let me see. Oh, yes. He's glittering. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, Very so weird. We come back, we're gonna talk more Wait, go back, go back. Truly is about the Benjamin. Like, well, I want to see. Oh, yes, I want to see before that. Is that's, before the, that's the beginning of the clip. Benjamin, like, we see. Oh yes, he's, he's uh, trying to you know, sneak a little. Well, he's trying to get sad on a little bit. Yeah, I think. Uh, 
Oh, well, Puffy was, he's a toucher. Oh, no. He's going to, well, he had his, like, academy super or something. He, like, adopted some 15-year-old girl. He's, like, talking about adopting Bieber. It was, if you watch the old Bieber clips of him and uh, Diddy when Bieber was 15, very weird. I feel bad for what happened to Bieber. His parents Bieber's hated him. They like I, sold I him I'm, off to go to in all those situations. I mean, it's like I've crazy. I've remained loyal to Bieber my <laughs> my whole life. I I remember Bieber really probably about when One Time came out. I might have saw the clips before <laughs> that, but like like his first song One Time, I was there for that, and I literally was a Bieber fan for the rest of my life. I've never turned on Bieber, not once. <laughs> But I literally had a, a true poster fan of Bieber boy. in my bedroom <laughs> in college. A Bieber. Oh, yeah. I've always, I've always been a Bieber fanboy. <laughs> Did you cut for Bieber? Did not <laughs> cut for Bieber, but oh, you weren't a fan. Gotcha. <laughs> I think that there's yeah. there's two people that caused. You can keep it a secret. It's okay. Uh, there, there, there's two main characters who caused most teen girls to cut themselves: Bieber and Gerard Way. Oh, who the hell's Gerard Way? My chemical romance. Dude, did you know uh, Gerard Way and Joe Rogan are cousins? Yeah. That's sweet. Why has Gerard never been on Rogan? That seems like such an obvious, like... Rogan is alt-right and people don't like him anymore. But but it's his cousin. That seems like a good collab. His MCR audience would hate that. Oh, man. Yeah, but MCR is like wannabe punk. They're not real punk. They're old, dude. It's like uh, that dude, was a long M- time MC- ago. No, dude, they got back together and they've been selling out arenas. Like what? There are the, the, the um. They're... So is Blink. Blink fucking sucks now, dude. I'm like upset. No, the I don't new wa- album was good. <sighs> There's a few songs that were good on the new album. What are you saying right now, man? I I listened to honestly, I listened to the whole album. I gave every oh, wow. every one of the songs a chance, man. <laughs> like, I don't even know you anymore, dude. It was fucking bad. No way. It's, it's like it was written by AI. <laughs> no, the songs are not Masturbate. good. Yeah. One more time. One one more time is like is catchy, sure, but fuck, dude. To be fair, like their most popular song is "I Miss You," and that's not that great either. Yeah, they they've got better songs. Yeah, like um, Dysentery Gary. Ooh, they got a lot of good good hits from back in the day. I mean, I didn't think this album was was that bad. Do you know what I'm really happy about? Actually, Matt Skiba is no longer in the band, and he's back making music with Alkaline Trio. You know, yeah, I, I never liked Matt Skiba in Blink, but I like Alkaline Trio. Yeah, Alkaline Trio is sweet. So, are you saying Rogan's gonna fall off because he's? You know, on that kind of political wing. I'm not, I'm not saying it's gonna that happen. boy always going to be happened in the game. a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, but he's always going to be in the game, man. I feel like he can never stop at that point. You know, he's got so much cred, and uh, I, I think he's got that. He's got a little bit of that brain rot. <laughs> like, uh, if you look at like 2019 Rogan versus 2024 Rogan, it's not the same guy. Oh, yeah, shit. he got he got a bunch of money. And you start hanging taking out with the different people when you have that much money. And yeah, so you probably unironically hangs out with Tucker, bring, brought him to uh, uh, kill Tony. Was that a good idea? Tucker's sweet. I think Tucker's sweet. Tucker, he, he, Tucker's the face of Zins, man. <laughs> which is sweet, honestly. I, don't, I, sweet. I can't Zin because I like I OD on nicotine real quick. So I can't pop a Zin very like one night I had two or three. And I got white, <laughs> you know, I turned white, thought I was going to throw up. It feels like, t- like so much shit. And I just fucking hate myself. And, uh, I don't even it doesn't go it, away man. quickly. So you just have, you just filled with regret. Dude, you I, do dude listen, yeah. guys, I smoked clove cigarettes for the first time a few weeks ago. And like, I get good. it. I fucking get it, man. <laughs> like, yeah, wow. Nice. It was, uh, yeah, I was like just chain hitting it. So I was getting that full body buzz. It's like, it's Ooh. way stronger than weed, but it only lasts like 30 seconds. We got a new Sig Boy. Oh no, All definitely right. not, dude. Never, never again. Maybe again. I'm not buying them. See, I've tried to get addicted to nicotine before, and I just can't. tried. Like, to. I, I've smoked a handful of cigarettes in my life, and <laughs> kind of always like just sucks, and I hate it. And like, uh, I think it's because the first time I, one of the first times I had nicotine, it was right when pouches came out. 
um the like the fruit ones this is like 2009 and i did two on top and two was on it bottom skull or husky um i don't i don't I think Copenhagen. it was a different brand no they were maybe no they weren't copenhagens they were something brand new like citrus something um but i like od'd on these pouches on nicotine and i just i can't it just doesn't my, i can't get addicted to it there's only zen <laughs> yeah, holy shit zen zen's, Dude, take, I... zen's taking over like breeze is taking over when's the last time you guys saw someone not hitting a breeze <laughs> like, what the fuck? that's true yeah and is it maybe yeah, it's a I, I was hitting the new parts so hard for like two years and then uh yeah i did like a pack a day for a bit and then after that Damn. yeah i just couldn't do it anymore I can't, man. So I've been cigarette free, I, even my, like uh, at parties and shit. Like you know, people are drinking. They're like, "Yeah, that's when I go for a cigarette." I'm just, I can't. My sister I tried to get wanna, me to smoke know. a cigarette when I was 16, man. In the uh, in the drive driveway in the back, I was in the back seat of the old 98 Camry, and I almost threw up. Yeah, it's rough. I mean, cigars will get you when you're not like realizing it, but cigarettes will. For a bit there, me and my mom were the only members of my family that didn't smoke. We got that second hand. You got enough of a taste to oh, teach you. Yeah. I grew up with enough second hand. Plus a paralyzed That's grandma. That's why you didn't want it, yeah. I had a what wheelchair. Was your grandma doing she, she had cigarettes a, and she was paralyzed? No, she was she had a stroke in the, like the eighties because she smoked like two packs a day. So like And then did she keep smoking? No, man, she quit immediately. But but like she was paralyzed and like her I think it was her right side. Could she still smoke with her left hand? She didn't. Sp- <laughs> yeah, you know what's you fucked up, watching. dude? My grandpa still smoked. He smoked like pipe tobacco. Is that Grandpa Katcha? No, this is Grandpa Willard. Ooh, that's your white side. Yes. Yes, Bill. Grandpa Willard. <laughs> that sounds like such a grandpa name. Yeah. Good name. Willard. Well, I think uh, it's probably time to wrap here. Right? Yeah, move yes. on to the Patreon, you know? Yeah, go on to the Patreon. Don't have uh, a Patreon. As soon as we have <laughs> over 200 More content views, we'll make page. you a Patreon. But for this episode, I'm setting the view goal at 65 views. <laughs> if we get 60... <laughs> I'm setting the goal at 100, all right? I want 65. I, I think I just need to post it in a couple more discords before, you know. We need a reasonable number of watches. We thank you all for watching, all 50 some of you from this last week. We're hoping for 65 this next week. Hit us up on the Gmails, dragondroppodcast at gmail.com. Hit us with the links. Hit us with the feedback. Tell us we're good. Tell us we're bad. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.